In the winter of 2001, Mike M. and his son Jake were traveling from Boise, Idaho to Medford, Oregon. They had taken a car trailer to Jake's old home in Boise to retrieve his Jeep, which would not start. They were heading to Medford, where Jake now lived. At around 2 a.m., they hit an area of heavy snow in the southern Cascades. Mike recalled that it took them about 45 minutes or so to get down the mountain. About 25 miles west of the pass, they both decided to pull over to relieve themselves. They stopped at an open area, typically used in the summer as a tourist spot, but given that it was winter in the middle of the night, it was completely deserted. Aside from a gas station and an ice cream joint, both of which were closed, there was nobody around for miles. There was no town for at least another 30 miles. The area was fairly remote with lots of tall timber trees everywhere. They made their way towards the empty ice cream store parking lot away from any possible passing cars. Mike felt uneasy and elected to arm himself prior to walking across the lot, as did Jake. As we walked to the far end of the area to be well off the road, the hair on my arms and back of my neck stood on end. The area directly to our front was open with a depth of 50 yards and a width of 100 yards. The night was clear and cold, 8 to 10 inches of snow on the ground and with a moon almost full so we could see quite well. While standing and taking a leak with sun about 15 feet to my right, I saw as if springing from the earth in front of us across the open area, 10 or 12 creatures moving rapidly back and forth in sort of a thatch weave pattern. These things, not human men, were close to seven feet tall, thin, bipedal with long arms, medium length gray fur, and damn fast on their feet. Mike claimed that he felt an overwhelming sense of fear. As they stood watching from afar, even more appeared and mixed in with the initial group. They were moving quickly in their direction. At this point, the man and his son retreated back to the truck. As they ran, Mike noticed that some of these creatures had peeled off to the right and left in a encirclement type of movement. They were coming fast. Witness sensed that he and his son were in grave danger. They made it back to their vehicle and tore out of the area. As they were pulling away, they heard a loud scream from somewhere very close. Mike believes that he may have accidentally driven over one of the creatures as he pulled away. Speaking to a now retired police officer and friend of the family, he claimed that he too had a similar run-in with strange creatures in 2000 in that area. To date, neither Mike or Jake have ever gone back to the area to investigate. My son and I are both sane, sober persons and not taken to hysteria. We were wide, very wide awake as things transpired. We saw and smelled what was there. As a sidebar, neither of us heard footfalls from the creatures. They were silent until I hurt one as we were getting the hell out of there. To my knowledge, and I have researched, there is nothing that matches these creatures. So what did Mike and Jake uh, encounter out there? Um, it sounds like he doesn't necessarily describe them as Bigfoots. He doesn't really describe them as dogmen. He says they're skinny and they had gray fur. It kind of makes me... The way that they were moving up on them, uh, it reminds me of that Paranormal Witness episode uh, happened in Palmyra where the, uh, the werewolf-like creatures were circling around the uh, family to uh, attack them, or at least that's what the witnesses believed they were doing, these creatures. So it almost sounds like they ran into the same type of creatures, the way they were described and everything. So I don't know, maybe they were dogmen, but he doesn't, he claims that he has never found anything that matched what they look like. So who knows? It's still a really frightening story. What would a bunch of animals, creatures that are bipedal, be doing out in an area, a really remote area, in the middle of winter? In the middle of the night, I mean, what would a? It sounds like there was about 15 of them. Uh, what were they doing? And ha, like the father claims that he uh, had like a bad vibe, like he got a bad uh, a bad feeling about. The, that's why he was uh, carrying his gun. There was something wrong, and uh, he sensed it, and so did the son, I guess. So it kind of makes you wonder. Like, uh, obviously, they're they're uh, they had the sixth sense was going on, and they. They, they knew there was something in the area that wasn't right, and that's why they felt the need to arm themselves. I don't know. 
it's just a really strange story. There's not a lot of other, there's no more uh, other details. Uh, who knows? It, it, I just found this uh, story to be really interesting and I wanted to share it. While it is unclear whether or not these creatures they described were Bigfoots, it does sound like Mike and Jake were being hunted by something. Not all encounters with bipedal creatures are terrifying. A woman named Prielsen was returning home from work in Chimney Rock in Colorado. It was 12.30 a.m., middle of winter. The snow was piled six feet on both sides of the road. As she drove along, something massive with reddish-brown hair crossed in front of her car. She claims that it cleared the road in two steps and passed over the plowed snow easily. From there, Prielsen claims that she suddenly experienced a strange sensation, one that is hard to explain and that is rarely spoken of in Bigfoot accounts. She felt like she was being drawn or pulled to the creature. I stopped and got out of my vehicle, walked three steps in front of my car before I snapped out of the draw feelings. I left the area as fast as I could. I did not feel afraid or fear at that moment. It was a powerful kind of experience for me. So Prielsen claims that she uh, was driving along and she encountered this reddish, uh, reddish uh, haired creature that was so large that it, it, it walked across the, a roadway in two steps and cleared a six foot high uh, snow embankment. She claims that she had this unexplainable urge to uh, get out of her car and uh, go towards the creature or, or go in that direction uh, like she was being pulled towards it. Um, I don't know. I've never heard of that before. I've never heard of somebody... I, I, I have heard of other stories where people felt uh, a sense of unease or... Uh, but I've never really heard of people... Uh, saw a person describe that they felt the need to go towards uh, the entity. Like they were drawn towards it. And then eventually, at some point, they were snapped out of it. Like, oh, they came to their senses. And then after that, they realized, oh, you know, they were, you know, maybe in danger or whatever and left the area. I, I don't know. That's just another dimension to the whole Bigfoot, uh, the whole Bigfoot phenomenon, I guess.